What is the best perfume country in the world? France, come on, we all know it. Coming up next, I'm gonna pick my 10 favorite French fragrances from 10 different French fragrance houses. One fragrance from each house. It's gonna to be tough, but I'm gonna do it, so stay tuned to see what they are coming up next. Welcome back to Joel The Nose and gonna do a second video in a series of one I did before where I picked my top five Italian fragrances from five different Italian niche houses because, well, Italian niche houses are my favorite. I'm going now to France because obviously France is the number one fr uh, fragrance country in the world. Uh, you know, it goes without saying they have the most wonderful fragrances, they have the most tradition, and it is what it is, right? It goes without saying. So therefore, I'm actually picking 10 fragrances because when I was doing my list of five, it's absolutely impossible, absolutely impossible to do just five. So I'm doing 10 fragrances, but I am still gonna do only one fragrance from each niche house. So I'm gonna keep this real, 10 different niche houses, I think it's gonna be kind of cool because that way you guys may see a couple niche houses that you've never heard of and maybe introduce you to something new, which is always my goal here on my channel, to introduce you guys to new, cool, unique fragrances that maybe you weren't aware of. Let's go. Right in at number 10 is 1724. I'm sorry, 1740. 1740 from Histoire des Parfums. This is, look at that juice, such you can see it better there. Such a wonderful fragrance. It is cedar, patchouli, leather. It is so intense. It is so rich. It is so decadent. To me, this just absolutely signifies, typifies French perfumery at its best. This is a great niche house for those of you who have not smelled Histoire perfumes before. Get your nose on it. All right, number nine from Memo Paris, this is Granada. Granada is this beautiful pomegranate, orange blossom, jasmine fragrance. Perfect for the summer, ah, for the spring summer months coming up here. When you're talking orange fragrances, to me this is one of my favorite all time orange citrus fragrance. Beautiful unisex fragrance. Again, Granada from Memo Paris, beautiful fragrance course, beautiful French fragrance. All right, coming in number eight. This is the, make sure I got it, yeah. This is Vanille Tonka from Nikolai Parfums. I love this one, it's in my collection. This is a beautiful incense vanilla Tonka masterpiece. It's one for me that flies under the radar, but if you love a fresh, incense, clean, Vanilla, Tonka, almost sweet fragrance. This is one that you should try. Highly recommend this fragrance. Very wearable, very unisex. Nikolai Parfums, one of my favorite houses overall, but definitely of the French realm. Just not sure if you know the story, but Patricia Nikolai is the granddaughter of Guerlain. So this is real history and real tradition and real royalty behind this house. All right, coming in number seven from a Tat Libre de Orange is Tom of Finland. I've talked about this one before. This has made my most masculine list. To me, you don't get more hyper masculine than this fragrance. It's, it, the whole fragrance is made off of Tom of Finland, which is this kind of mythical, mas hyper masculine uh, character in literature. This one is just, it's got birch, it's got pine, it's got cypress, vetiver, ambergris, all these just really intense, rich, dark, deep elements that again, makes it very masculine. I would not recommend this one for women, but for men, if you really wanna make an impression, especially on a date or maybe a, a first meeting, this is a great fragrance. It will definitely leave an impression. That's number seven, Tom of Finland from a Tot Libre de Orange. All right, number six is 
Elysium. Elysium from, of course, Rouge et Dove. Couldn't have a top 10 French perfumes without Rouge et Dove. This is his take on a fresh citry, citrusy grapefruit, kind of pineapple-ish. Ah, I mean, it's just, for me, when I think of Rouge et Dove doing a citrus kind of freshy fragrance, it's Elysium. It's very popular. Of course, this is part of the Parfum, um, the, the Cologne, Parfum Cologne collection that came out a couple of years ago. So again, for those just so you know, Cologne means the Cologne style, meaning it's a more fresh, citrusy, lighter top, but it's still a Parfum, Eau de Parfum concentration. So you still get high quality oil, but with a lighter citrusy top. All right. Coming in now, number four. Number four, Santal Nobile from Maitre Parfumer et Gantier. Uh, one of the all time classics. This goes back well over 20 years. It's a legend in the fragrance world. It's got coffee, it's got spicy notes, spices, it's got sandalwood, but really is. This is one of those fragrances that should be in every person's collection. It just is a legend. It is something that, oh, that spicy coffee note at the top. It's not an overwhelming coffee, but it just mixes and blends so well. This is one you can wear all year round. It's not too heavy all year round. Great fragrance, great French house. All right, now we are into the top four. Number four, ready? Fet Persan from MDCI Perfumes. This was by Cecile Zaroki and the perfumer, one of my favorite perfumers. Uh, this is also in my collection. MDCI just for me personifies great niche French perfumery. Again, look at that bottle. This is a fragrance. It's got cinnamon, it's got cloves, it's got rose, it's got cedar, it's got black pepper, which gives it this spicy top. Really, again, this is a perfect unisex fragrance. It's gonna go well for both men or women. So take your pick, either one of you. I love these bottles with the tassel. One of the favorite, my personal favorites in my own collection. All right, we've made it to the top three. Top three, coming in number three, from Veronique Gabay. Sur La Plage, Sur La Plage. This is a fragrance that is, for me, one of the best summertime fragrances. It's a relatively new fragrance from her, but if you like those kind of marine aqua notes, hint, hint, meaning if you like those aqua de Gios and all those famous designer ones, this is the one for the niche world that will absolutely blow your mind. It's, it's very beachy, very beautiful fragrance. Gotta try it coming in, number three. Number two is Habdan from Parfums de Marly. You've seen me talk about this multiple times. It just doesn't get any better for me for French niche perfumery, for all niche perfumery. It's kind of gourmandish, it's fresh, it's got this apple cinnamon note. I like it better than Ojan, which is kind of like its brother or sister fragrance from Parfums de Marly. It's complete beast mode, it's gonna last you all day. It's gonna project for hours like a beast. It's gonna last more than 12 hours in your skin and it dries down to this beautiful caramel, myrrh, creamy dry down. Ugh, it's just amazing. And finally, my number one French niche perfumery from the house of Majda Bakali. This is Monome S Rouge. This is an incense, rose, ginger, cedar masterpiece. This is also in my collection like the last few, and to me, uh, it's just the perfect combination of incense and cedar and rose. It's not overpowering on any of them, but it's perfectly, again, unisex, perfectly wearable any time of the year. The dry down just melts into your skin and just lasts all day, and it's so elegant, and it's so royal, and it's so aristocratic to me. So that's my number one fragrance. There you have it, my top 10 niche fragrances from the country of France, the grandfather of perfumery, the El Jefe of perfumery, the country that has it all. 
Um, obviously, there could have been a lot more, but those are the 10 I'm going to go with. Hope you found it entertaining and fun. If you've already subscribed, thanks for subscribing to the channel, guys. And of course, let me hear your comments below. Do you disagree? What, what other fragrances do you think should have gone on the list? Always fun to hear your comments. Thanks for the great comments. Thanks for keeping it positive, everybody. This is Joel the Nose, and um, I'll be back soon with another video from Osme Perfumery again. Thanks for watching.